Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy. And um, well, just thanks for joining me. I'm real quick, I'm gonna refill my tape dispenser here. So this is what the refills come in. They come in a package like that. Now there is a little notch here where you could tear off the tape, but I don't understand why, because you can just open, it has one of those Ziploc little open things, open the top, take it out. This just pops apart really easy like that. This part is trash. And this one just slips right on these two little notches right here. And there you go. Now I'm back in business. Pop those two together. Now there's two of them. This is stamp and seal. This is stamp and seal plus. You can tell because the stamp and seal is darker. The case is darker. They both fit in the same container, but this one is a much stronger tape than this one is so there you go that's if you were wondering how stamp and seal refills there it is and the difference between stamp and seal plus and just regular stamp and seal but let me show you the card i have for you today so i have a really pretty card it looks like this we made this card at my shoe box swap this is linda bettinger's card and you can find linda bettinger on youtube she's she's kind of a big deal there but she's in our team or our family here of um Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, and this, I thought her card is beautiful. Let's just make a quick card like that. Now, this is using the um, Calming Camilla stamp set. And this stamp set, you can only get during celebration if your order or if your communal or commutative, a bunch of orders together, <laughs> equal $300. But as you noticed, I have a couple of them. And so I'm going to give them away. So the next two orders on my online store using this host code here. almost forgot to put my host code out there. I'll just mail you as a thank you a stamp set. And it's a really nice stamp set. I wish I could get rid of that glare. Let me. There we go. But look how nice. Well, the glare's back. But look how nice the fonts are and the words are in there. You got the happy birthday um, lovely you, you make me smile. It's a really nice stamp set and it's distinctive and so it gives it a really pretty pretty image when it's stamped. But there you go. So I have two of them next two orders on my online store and I'll send you a calming Camilla stamp set. And it doesn't matter the amount of the order. I just have two extras that I'd like to give to you know, support my customers who support me. But I'm gonna do my card. Now this one is in pool party. I'm gonna do mine in the fresh freesia. So I have a card base here that's eight and a half by five and a half, just your normal half sheet of cardstock. I've scored it at four and a fourth and fold it in half, and then I have my card base. I'm gonna set that aside. Then I have a bunch of pieces of basic white here. I have two that are five and a fourth by four. Now, don't worry about writing down the measurements. If you need the measurements, you can pop on over to my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com. Well, give me a few minutes after the video and I'll put them on there. But all the measurements will be on there and the supplies that I've used to make the card. But anyway, basic white here. One of these is going to be the mat here and the other one's going to be the inside. So I'm going to hang on to the inside. We're going to stamp on that one. And then I have a piece here. This is three and three fourths by five that's going to be the front of our card and then i have a scrap here and i don't know what size that is it's big enough for my die which we're going to use the tasteful label dies this one right here and here's a tip whenever you have extra you know you've cut extra pieces whether you were doing a big project or decided not to use that one just throw them in the back of your case i like to take the case that the dies come in i usually just cut that flap off the top it gives me this little thumb space so I can reach in and grab it. And then I just take some of those um, vent covers that are magnetic and I cut it the size of my case and that's how I store my um, dies. But anyway, we're going to use this one right here. So let's do some stamping before we get to the die cutting. I kind of got ahead of myself. I'm going to bring in uh, scratch paper here. Now this is a, a red rubber stamp, so I'm not going to worry about my pierce mat. I'm going to just stamp, make sure I have um, scratch paper so I don't stamp on my surface. And I'm going to start with this front piece. This is the three and a half by five. And here's my Fresh Freesia ink. I have that great big flower in the stamp set that's mounted on a E. E? Can't see it. E block. 
I think. <laughs> it's a pretty big block. But I'm going to ink up my um, stamp here, and then I'm going to just stamp them. I think I got something on my paper. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to stamp it up in this corner. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp it in the opposite corner. And look how pretty that image is. I can't believe how pretty it is. It just stamps really nice. Whoop, there it goes. Oh, and then while we're at it, let's go ahead. This is the inside piece. I'm going to just stamp one. Let's decorate the inside just a little bit. So I'm going to just stamp a pretty big flower right here in the corner. It's a pretty large image if you can see. It's it's pretty big. Look how pretty. Now my inside's all done. Yay! So then I'm gonna bring in this leaf image like this. And I'm gonna stamp in these corners over here. And kind of just fill it in. There we go. Then with my blending brush here, I'm going to just take that fresh freesia and I'm going to kind of cover up that white. I'm going to start off and just work my way in. It won't take much. It won't look like there's much color on there because it's, um, well, fresh freesia is a pretty light color. But once you put it on that white mat, it's going to be really pretty. Oops, I tried not to go over my white here, but I kind of... That time I did. Then I'm going to get the edges just to give them a little bit of color so it really shows up on that white mat. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, look how pretty that piece is. Okay, so I think I'm done. Well, no, let's stamp one more thing. So I have my greeting here, and I'm going to stamp it kind of in the center of my scrap here. Let me practice once here. And get some of this ink from the edges. I think most of maybe I should have re-inked my ink pad. Okay, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to go ahead and cheat. That one's too light for words. I'm going to grab in this and um, see how this Highland Heather will work. Because I want something a little bit darker for my words. Yeah, it's just a little bit darker, but I think it's going to work. Okay, let's see. We might have to flip it over and find even a darker purple to put on there. I should have paid it. No, I think we're going to be good. Okay, let's go ahead and put the inks away. Although we're going to need the fresh freezer, so I won't put it too far away. Let's go ahead and die cut this piece out. And I'm going to bring in my mini machine. Here's my plates, so I have my number one, my number two that's all chewed up. Lay my paper on there. And now my die, here it is. Lay that so it's in the center here. And then just lay plate number three on there. Now, I don't know if you have problems with your die cut machine slipping around, but I saw this YouTube video, so I went to the dollar store and I found some of their grippy stuff. I don't remember what this is called. It might be um, under the rug stuff. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't know what it is. But I set my little machine on there and now he doesn't slip like he used to. Now he's, it's not perfect, but it works. So that's what I'm going to do with my little mat there with my machine. I'm going to lay this in my machine, run that through. And looky there. Now we have Hey, and if you haven't heard, the um, mini die cut machine is going to be on sale in March. So be sure and check Stampin' Up's website or my online store in March. And um, you can get that mini die cut machine at a discount. Okay, so let's take this little piece now and that fresh freesia. And I'm going to stamp some leaves just along the edge here. Just to kind of fill in those little blank places. And I do want it pretty light, so I'm really happy. Look how pretty that is. And maybe an extra set of leaves right there. Yeah, look how pretty that is. And then let's take that blending brush again and just get rid of those little white places as much as we can. And I want to put some ink around the edges.
there. Now it's not stark white anymore. You can still see my words on there pretty good. So I think that turned out really nice. I'll have to add Island Heather to my list of supplies, huh? Okay, so now I think we have all of our pieces and parts, although real quick, I think I'm gonna do the edges of the inside so it doesn't, it just looks the same as the others. I'm not gonna get it all the way toward the middle, but I'm gonna just do a little bit of the edges here. Kind of soften up that white for the inside too. There. Now, if you're wondering, so my blending brush, I'll just go take it into the sink on a bar of soap. I'll run it like this and then run it under clear, um, clear water till the water runs clear. And that's how I wash my blending brushes. And I use them over and over again with different colors. And yeah, they do get a little bit stained, but that way you don't need a lot of them. You just need a couple for, and it depends how many colors you're gonna need at one time when you're doing your blending. I hope that makes sense, but blending brushes are very washable. They're really nice, I like the blending brushes. Let's put our card together now though. I'm gonna take that inside and just lay that down here. And it does look a lot nice. I like the way the edges look now that I've used the blending brush on the sides. Now, before we put these two together though, I want to take, and I'm going to use this Fresh Frieza ribbon. Now, when Linda did hers, she used this mesh ribbon and she actually, we folded in half and it was really pretty that way too. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this Fresh Frieza and I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive here on the sides of my card. Let's see if I got it in the right place. We'll just wrap this around. Yep, that looks pretty good. Wrap it here and then just take a pair of paper snips here. Now remember, I have a pair of paper snips that have a ribbon here, so I know I've only used these with ribbon and they stay really sharp that way. Okay, so my ribbon's going downhill. We can't have that. Let's fix that real quick. I guess so it's going all the way across like that nice and pretty and then i'm going to just tape over that ribbon make sure it's nice and flat on my cardstock and then i'm going to just lay this right on this white mat and there look how pretty that is now just with some dimensionals i'm going to put this onto my card front And now that I look at the card that we made at the shoebox swap, we did it just the opposite. We put the um, dimensionals between this piece and the mat. So really, I guess it's your choice. I think I like it better this way. Or who knows, next time <laughs> I'll probably like it better the other way. You never know with me. Take those dimensional backs off. Lay that on the front of our card right here. Isn't that a pretty, beautiful stamp set? And then with this, I'm gonna take some dimensionals here again. And I'm gonna put them up at the top so that they don't sit on my ribbon and I have room to slide to have that ribbon between my dimensionals, just so it doesn't make my greeting sentiment piece here wonky. Ooh, is that a stamping term, wonky? You'll have to let me know. And we'll lay this right here on top of there. Now it needs some finishing touches, so we need a bow. I'm gonna use my bow maker. And I think I want my bow to be about two dots in between. That looks about the right size. Now, if you're saying, hey, Kathy, I want a bow maker, believe it or not, I have one left. If you watch my videos, you know I had these made for my team name team members for Christmas and I had a few extras and so I decided to give those to my customers as well. So if you place a $75 order using February host code, like I said there while supplies last, I have one left. So the next order not only will get the Camille, Calming Camille stamp set, but you'll also get the bow maker too. 
And if you're coming on late and don't know what I'm talking about, about the calming Camille stamp set, be sure and watch the beginning of the video. But look at that cute bow that bow maker makes. I'm gonna just trim my ends about the same length as my loops. And then just with the glue dot, I'm gonna place my bow right here on the corner of my tag greeting. Let's fluff him up a little bit. There we go. Now we just need some bling on there, and so I'm gonna bring in those end colors that are the same color, they're Fresh Freesia. I think I have enough left in this packet here. <coughs> Excuse me, and my take a pick tool. Now in the center, of these flowers here, I'm going to just place one big one. No, oh, and I'm going to have to get the other pack out and a couple little ones and really bling up those. This is what I think makes the card. Let's get out the other pack here. Oh, they're not even open yet. Couple. No, I don't need no more big ones. I need little ones. And one here. And one here. And then maybe let's put one here. Mm, maybe two up here. Yeah. And then one down here. And then there you go. So there's the cards. Aren't they pretty? I think they're really pretty. I do like the pool party and I do like the fresh freezer. So which goes to figure you could probably make them in just any color that you have of cardstock. So this will be also if you place an order in February, these are going to be my thank you cards. So watch the mail for those. Again, like I said in the beginning, the next two orders on my online store using my host code will get a calming Camilla stamp set. If your order is $75 or more, I'll be sure and throw in the last boneful or bow maker that I have. And of course, you'll get the trinkets and all the good stuff. And it's celebration, so if you do it before Monday, you get all the celebration rewards on that. So if you have any questions, of course, just drop a comment. If you're on my Facebook page, please like my page and share. That helps me a lot. Then um, Facebook kind of advertises for me. If you're on YouTube, I'd love for you to be a subscriber and share there too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.